I have an amendment at the desk, number two, printed in the congressional record. It was an amendment by Marjorie Taylor Greene to block President Biden from selling oil. Over the last year, the president has released a record amount from America's petroleum reserves to increase oil supply and lower prices. He actually accomplished that goal. It worked by bringing down prices about $1.50 per gallon since the peak uh, last June. But according to Green, If we let President Biden continue to run our oil this way, we will have nothing left. Amendment number two printed in the congressional record offered by Mrs. Ms. Green of Georgia. A recorded vote is requested. Those supporting a recorded vote will rise. Fission number having risen, a recorded vote is ordered. Members will record their votes by electronic device. This is a two-minute vote. And in just two minutes, Marjorie Taylor Greene's amendment got rejected. The defeat was massive and bipartisan. On this vote, the yeas are 14, the nays are 418. The amendment is not agreed to. Mm. Several lawmakers said they could not remember the last time an amendment or bill on the House floor got defeated in such lopsided fashion. A few members of Congress and Green's own party said they were put off by the handcuffs that Green's proposal would have put on any president who wanted to tap into the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Other lawmakers noted that Green did not help her case by lying during her arguments. The whopper was called out by New Jersey Democrat Frank Pallone, and he shut down Green when she tried to speak during his time. Watch. The gentlewoman also suggested that uh, that we're restricting, that this administration is restricting the use of public lands for drilling. That is simply not the case. There are, half of the public lands are available for drilling. As I've said before, the, the oil companies simply don't want to drill because they want to keep the prices artificially high by not drilling. No, I'm not yielding at this time. Not yielding. In other words, Congresswoman Green, sit down and be quiet. What a humiliating moment for Marjorie Taylor Greene. And it got even worse in the wake of the crushing vote. Colorado Republican Lauren Boebert, perhaps best described these days as a far-right frenemy of Green, tweeted, Congress is working as it should be, and I'm proud to say all three of my amendments passed today. Democrat Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who tried to pass legislation a few years ago to make it easier for scientists to study psychedelic drugs, she tweeted, woof, even my psilocybin amendment did better than this. Indeed, out of 222 Republicans in the U.S. House caucus, only 13 joined in supporting Green's amendment. That means more than 200 Republicans voted against Green. And again, the people who follow Congress say it has been decades since any lawmaker's amendment was rejected by members of the same party in such lopsided and overwhelming fashion. Then again, perhaps we shouldn't be surprised. This is Marjorie Taylor Greene we're talking about, and her lunatic impulses and actions are extreme. Remember, Greene is the same woman who pushed QAnon conspiracy theories, argued that 9-11 was an inside job, suggested the Clintons had JFK Jr. killed, and more recently spoke at a white nationalist conference. However, House Republican Speaker Kevin McCarthy has loosened up the rules for introducing amendments on the floor, and that means the extremes in the chamber are going to get more time and more votes. To be clear, it is true that President Biden ordered emergency drawdowns from the strategic oil reserve following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. However, it is also true that the Biden administration has already begun to refill the strategic petroleum reserve. Nonetheless, some facts are inconvenient for Marjorie Taylor Greene, and clearly her legislative efforts are a crazy stretch even for most members of her own party. And when 90% of the members of your own party make you a loser, Congresswoman Greene, you are a loser. <laughs> I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.